Hello everyone, I'm Kyu Weijing from University of Malaysia Terengganu. The purpose of this video is for Voyage Out 2 assessment. So, have you ever experienced where you have to wait for buses or stuck in a traffic jam for a few hours? Something like this? Yes or no? So, today I'm going to introduce you the solution to this problem which is a new type of public transportation named Transit Elevator Bus which is also known as TEB. TEB is designed by a Chinese engineer named Song Wunjong from China. Basically, the TEB is a stranding bus with a tunnel underneath it with a dimension of 2 meters of height and 7.6 meters of width. This is the reason behind why the designer designed TEB. You can see here, the growth of vertical in China is increasing year by year. There are three main advantages of this TEB. Firstly, is lower production cost. Okay, TB has the function same as a subway. However, there are no underground drilling needed for this TB. TB simply just need the path or the track to be installed at the both side of the road, which allow which act as a path for the TB. Logically, this is much more cost saving compared to the typical subway, which need underground drilling. Other than that, the the duration to produce a TB is much more shorter compared to subway, which this can lead to level saving. Due to the duration of building this TB is much more shorter, and the duration for the needs of level is shorter too, which is can lead to level saving. Secondly, TB also increases the effectiveness of the traffic flow. As I mentioned just now, TB has a tunnel underneath it that allows cars to go through or pass through. While having traffic jam, this TEB can pass pass um pass by pass by the traffic jam, and also this without while doing this without interrupting the other road user such as car. Other than that, the TEB can reach the destination on time. Besides that, one TEB can bring up to four hundred people, and four TEB can link together at once, which can bring up to one one thousand two hundred people at one time, replacing 30 classic buses which that bring 30 people at one time. I believe that this can increase the effectiveness of the traffic flow. Last but not least, the TEB also environmental friendly. The TEB powered by using electricity, generated using solar energy. At every TEB station, they will have a solar panel installed on the roof of the station that later on store the energy in the battery and transfer into the solar energy using a relay charge system. Okay, relay charge a relay charge system is a system where when the bus stops at the station, it will have a cable that charge the TEB while, while people boarding into the TEB. Next, the TEB also can reduce the carbon emission by replacing the classic bus uh, classic buses that runs on petrol and that produce carbon carbon emission. According to the designer Song Jong Jong, the TEB can reduce 2,500 tons of carbon emission annually. This can be proven that TEB is more environmental friendly compared to the typical classic buses. Okay, now, as the conclusion, I have shared the three main advantages of this TEB. First is the lower production cost. Second, the TEB increased the effectiveness of the traffic flow. And lastly, TB also environmental, environmental friendly. It's important to work towards green technology nowadays because the carbon emissions and everything that human activities are hurting the earth. And it's our duty to protect the earth as the earth is more our one and only home. Other than that, this TB is on, not only applicable in China but all the countries all around the world. For example, for example in Malaysia, people nowadays are living as early as two to three hours to work or bring the children to school just to avoid traffic jam. Can you imagine that? Okay, that's all for me. Thank you.